If you want to wirelessly remote control your Panasonic Lumix camera to take photo or shoot video from your computer, I have a solution for you. But there are also some gotchas that I have to tell you as well. Okay, so what you have to do is you need to have a Apple Mac computer and it need to be one that is running the Apple Silicon chip. So that means M1 or M2 chip. And you just need to go to the App Store, find the Lumix Sync app from there, download and install it. For me, I've already downloaded and installed it. And so you just fire up. Now, the first time that you launch it, it may ask you to do the setup through the normal connection steps. And I tried to follow those step-by-step -step instructions and it didn't really work. It just stopped at one of the steps and it just couldn't connect to my camera. So I have been trying to get it working for a while and in the end, what I find that works for me is if I quit the Lumix Sync app completely, and then go to the camera's setup screen and then go to the LAN Wi-Fi and Wi-Fi function and then new connection control with smartphone so now it will display the name of the Wi-Fi for this camera remember the name but usually it start with the model number so right now I'm using the S5 Mark II X and then wait a few seconds go back to your computer and you should be able to see the Wi-Fi for your camera. You click on it. All right, now it's connected. And then you relaunch the Lumix Sync app. And now it should be able to detect and connect to your camera. If it doesn't work, maybe you just have to retry it again. Uh, sometimes it takes one or two times for it to work. But follow this step, it seems to work for me most of the time. So now you're connected and you can do pretty much what you can do usually on your smartphone using the Lumix Sync app. You can do the remote shooting. So yeah, point it, you can see there is a little bit of lag but it's very very minor and let me point it to something I should just do it here just take a photo yeah all right another photo smile all right and you can also trigger the video record if you want to no problem stop it and you can change all the normal settings that you can change from your app, change the aperture, for example, go back to 1.8, all right, and change the exposure, compensation, make it overexposed, all right, back to normal. So you can do all of this. You can even change the autofocus point by just click on the screen and it will autofocus. back on him it still works and you can also go to the setup menu and do more setting changes I've tried most of those they all seems to work the only thing that I haven't really tried is do the firmware update I'm not too sure if I would recommend you guys to try it I think it's better to do it in the safer way uh, there are two limitations though that I noticed. The first one is every time when you try to change a screen, say go from the capture screen to the main screen, there will be a pop-up that you have to click and get it away. And the other thing is if you want to import images download from the camera to your computer. So let's say I click this photo and I try to download it. You see it's copying, but then I couldn't find where the photo went to. So also been playing around with it for quite a bit. And I notice what happened is when I do that, 
it actually downloads to my computer because I can see it pops up for a split of a second and I can get it display on my computer but what I find is my Mac would either it get rid of this file or somehow the photo just disappear from my Mac like immediately so let me show you again if I download it look at here it will show up for a few seconds and then it disappeared so I don't really know what's happening if you know please drop a comment and let me know but other than that yeah the app seems to work fine I can even do pinch to zoom and most other feature that I try that I expect it to work it works now, if you don't need wireless control, there is the Lumix Tether software, which is designed for computer and that gives you more controls, but that one does require a wired USB connection. I hope you guys found this video useful. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like or drop a comment below to support me.